Hi, Armadillo Con 2020. This is Kelsey from Melbourne Books. If you've been to the in-person con before, you might have seen me and my colleague Chandra man the Melbourne Books table. I so wish that I could be with everyone in person to talk more about books and literature, sci-fi fantasy, um, but you know, I hope that you have a good virtual experience and know that Malvern Books is here for you. Um, I wanted to make a video to highlight a few titles from Malvern Books collection. We handpicked a really awesome selection of books for ArmadilloCon 2020 and I wanted to pick out some of my faves to talk about. Um, so first up, I have The Guild of Stories by Joel Gomez. Um, this book, when it was originally published in 1991, was considered way ahead of its time. Um, called an instant lesbian classic, this book follows Gilda as she escapes slavery in the 1850s in Louisiana and kind of navigates freedom and begins working at a brothel. At this brothel, she is initiated into being a vampire and for the next 200 years looks to find a place called home. So if you're looking for a really awesome, really unique vampire story, I would highly recommend The Guild of Stories by Joel Gomez. Next up, I have Stranger Things Happen by Kelly Link. Kelly Link is one of my favorite writers. Um, she writes a lot of horror, a lot of creepy things, and I can't get enough of her. If you've never read her, this is a good place to start. This is her first collection of short stories, and you'll find anything from aliens, cosmic horror, fairy tales, and an apocalyptic beauty contest. If you are looking for a little bit of everything, if you really like short stories like I do, I would highly recommend Stranger Things Happen by Kelly Link. Next up, I have Tears of the Truffle Pig by Fernando A. Flores. He is a local writer and this book is really, really cool. Um, it's set in an alternate universe um, in a South Texas town where there's a third border wall going up between the United States and Mexico. Um, extinct animals are brought back to life for the amusement of the ultra wealthy. Um, and you'll want to follow Esteban, the main character, as he goes through his super surreal journey um, and comes um, into contact with a lot of myths of Mexican culture, including the elusive, the mysterious truffle pig. Um, if you're looking for a book that's surreal, has a good taste of oddball humor, is super smart, can't define it kind of book, definitely pick up Tears of the Truffle Pig by Fernando A. Flores. Um, the last book I have to recommend you guys is one of my favorite books of all time. It is called Little by Edward Carey. Edward Carey is also a local author. Um, this book is historical fiction and follows the life of Madame Tussaud. If you don't know, Madame Tussaud is um, the one that created Madame Tussauds, which is where all of your favorite and famous people are turned into wax figures. So you're thinking, who could possibly begin this, you know, empire of wax figures? You know, who was Madame Tussaud? Who was she? What was she like? Um, look no further than Little. Um, this book is so well written, um, so well researched, and includes a lot of really beautiful illustrations from the author himself. Um, the book is really dark, it's really funny, um, it has a lot of horror and creepy and kind of ew kind of <laughs> factors and I loved it. Um, and also includes, you know, historical figures like Marie Antoinette. Um, and it takes place in a Paris that is in turmoil and so the setting is dark and bleak and the book is kind of dark and bleak and it's just so good. Um, so if you're looking for um, a really awesome historical novel to sink your teeth into, I'd highly recommend Little by Edward Carey. Um, so those were just a few um, titles from our Armadillo 2020 book selection. 
um, you are able to pick up a copy by calling us. Um, Malvar Books is currently open for curbside pickup only um, Tuesday through Saturday, 12 to 5 p.m. Um, you can give us a call at 512-322-2097, and if you mention ArmadilloCon 2020, you will get 20% off your entire order. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you buy some books, tell some friends, and I hope you have a really great virtual ArmadilloCon 2020 experience. Thank you!